Now, for the behavioral part of, uh, of the interview, there are a few highlights that uh, I would like to talk about here. First and foremost is uh, the most question, the most asked question at, uh, during the Tesla interview is why Tesla? And uh, when, uh, when considering an answer for this, uh, just keep in mind Tesla's mission, that is to accelerate uh, the world's transition to sustainable energy, as well as the four uh, things that uh, Tesla is looking for uh, in uh, any new recruit, uh, that is uh, innovative, driven, uh, communicative, and uh, trustworthy. Now, um, this being said, there are also a few other pretty standard questions uh, that, uh, th that they, will, uh, they, they might ask you. Now, something that you might want to prepare for, um, as, as with preparing for pretty much any major interview, is uh, a set of, of stories that uh, you, can, uh, you can remember in, gr in great detail. And the reason why I'm, why I'm saying this is because, uh, for instance, if you have five such stories prepared, the, the probability that you will uh, be able to relate uh, one story to, to a behavioral question you might be asked is quite high. And um, th this, is, this is the main reason that w why you should prepare these stories to future-proof you against uh, those types of, uh, pretty much any type of behavioral question. Now, uh, how do you prepare for, for, for these stories is, uh, is you simply write down as much as possible about each and, and every one of them and then make a, make a shorter version, but still a narrative version, don't use bullet points here, of, uh, of each of those stories uh, using, for instance, the star format. This is the most common way to... This is the way that recruiters like their questions being, being asked. And uh, uh, the star method uh, has four parts. First, uh, from the S, you should describe the situation that, that took place. Then uh, the T comes from the, from the tasks that were required to be resolved that needed to resolve there and the first two these four the first two might be one and the same in, in some in some cases then the a uh, refers to to the actions that you had to take uh, that allowed the resolve of uh, of that situation and r is is actually the resolve of the situation but the the, the key thing is to make sure that you embed all the, all these four parts uh within your answer and uh, it doesn't have to be particularly concise it, it must be a narrative format because you have to impress your interviewer that that's that's the main thing you should do during an interview so um, also one more thing here compared to other companies uh, that uh, that i looked over um, for, for these videos i don't believe that tesla is uh, is very much putting an accent on the behavioral part of the interview compared to the technical capability. So in other words, if you're, if you're an engineer, yes, you should prepare for the behavioral part, but uh, the, main, the main quality that Tesla is looking for is to, to basically know your thing. And by the way, speaking of questions here, you should also get prepared to, to ask them a few questions. And uh, one method that I found particularly useful to, to brainstorming of what types of questions uh, would be the best to ask is, is the four C's method, which uh, essentially consists of asking questions from uh, related to four domains. 